I've always loved gardening ever since I was a tiny child. My name's Sal Rennick and I'm married to Pete Rennick and we live in the West Midlands in Dorridge. And at the moment I, I'm a volunteer for the National Trust and also for the National Garden Scheme. My husband Pete found the lump. I just felt it was going to be a cyst or something, I felt it was going to be fine and very you know, shocking to hear that it was cancer, yes. Especially because I was so young, really. I don't think people at 38 got cancer. <laughs> Macmillan and the National Garden Scheme helped me get control back really in, in my life because when you have cancer treatment it's so full on and it's all regimented by the hospital for a year or so and to get back to do something creative that's totally yours it's just a brilliant way of, of recovering really, it was for me. The advice I would give to anyone living with cancer or have just recovering from it is to start gently build yourself up, just get outside really and start growing things, start to plant seeds, just to see something coming up, you know, that you've planted yourself and see it growing and flowering in your garden later in the year is wonderful. Enjoy the fresh air and sunshine and birds and wildlife really, it all helps in recovery I think. I opened my garden for the NGS last year, partly as a sort of 20 year celebration of still being here, also to give something back really. One of the highlights of opening um, our garden for the National Garden Scheme was seeing so many people enjoying it really. It was a lovely sunny day and people didn't want to leave, they were sitting here in the garden in the sunshine having tea and enjoying just being in the garden as I do, so it was nice to share that really.